it works. I can't believe it. Look at this. We've got 1.2 amps power coming in from the solar straight into the air conditioner. So I've just turned my old dumb air conditioner into a solar powered air conditioner. Do I have a video for you? It involves my whole home air conditioner and solar. The thought that I had is could I somehow offset the amount of electricity this machine uses in the summer with solar? Even if I didn't have battery backup or net metering agreement or anything, could a very simple setup work to pretty much eradicate my air conditioner power bill. So here's what we're gonna test today. I've got 400 watts of uh, solar for testing. Those come over here. And uh, I've got this uh, excess uh, Enphase solar inverter. This is the uh, Enphase IQ8 Plus micro inverter. And uh, then we've got that uh, feeding into the air conditioner here. I'll get in uh, close here uh, for wiring uh, momentarily. But uh, the thought is, can I use the contactor on the air conditioner to vary when this inverter sees grid power so that when the air conditioner turns on, this in turn sees the grid and starts generating power from solar, offsetting the load of the air conditioner, but not running any risk of backfeeding to the grid. And then obviously once the air conditioner satisfies and turns off, then this stops seeing the grid and in turn stops the flow of electricity from the solar. And so you don't have to have a net metering agreement. You don't have to have any kind of expensive battery backup or anything like that. Could something just as simple as this work to essentially turn this air conditioner into a solar powered air conditioner? That's the, uh, the testing we're gonna do today. Before we get into all this testing, don't forget to give this video a like and a subscribe. This is stuff you don't see anywhere else and it really does help out. It costs nothing to you but uh, it really does uh, help out and give me the motivation to uh, keep experimenting and keep uh, recording my experiments uh, for you guys. So don't forget to do that for me. You only need a few parts. Now, if you're gonna do this permanently, you're probably gonna need a few extra bits and pieces, but uh, the bulk of what you need is your shown right here. Some kind of solar panels that are uh, within operating spec of your microinverters, some cable, I'm using the uh, Enphase IQ8 Plus microinverter. And then you need uh, obviously at least uh, one of their connecting cables. Got the uh, Enphase cable going to just some Romex here for testing. And, uh, and then I've just got uh, some connectors here that uh, will go on the contactor of the air conditioner. Now, what uh, you're about to see me do is just an experiment. It's something that I've been curious about. I'm in no way, shape, or form recommending you do this uh, or repeat this. Uh, there's gonna be all kinds of loose wires and things just kind of dangling in this scenario. Anyway, do not attempt this on your own. Okay, safety first. We've pulled the disconnect and then uh, we're gonna take a multimeter here and uh, we're just going to check. I've got uh, that one, the other lead on ground. So we're just gonna go from each of these and make sure we have zero volts and no power. I'm gonna use my uh, little lead uh, here uh, to point, uh, but uh, what we've done is just hooked up uh, one leg to one side of, there's a lot of wires here, but uh, the contact is right here. And uh, we've hooked one leg to one side, hooked the other leg to the other side of the contactor. And this is the side that the power is coming out of. And that way you'll see, but uh, the contactor controls when the solar provides power and when it doesn't. Shout out to MicroWire Easy Start. I bought uh, this with my own money and everything, but uh, this saved me thousands of dollars in a backup power generator and uh, I'm able to run uh, my air conditioner without any problem. So I made a video about uh, this. Uh, you'll want to check that out. It makes a huge difference in the startup inrush. The DC voltage range, I don't know if you can see this, it's pretty small. 
16 volts to 58 volts. We've got two 200 watt rigid solar panels here. I've connected them in series, and then we're gonna get these probes. Stick one in this connector right here. Stick the other one in this connector. There we go. We've got 43 volts open circuit voltage. So that's within spec. 400 watts worth of solar connected. You can see it's flashing red. That means it's uh, looking for the grid. Let's turn on the uh, AC unit here and uh, see what happens. I don't know if you could hear, but that was the nice soft start that uh, the microwave easy start gives. So that uh, fired up. Let's see what the light is doing over here. So now it's flashing orange. So as you can see, it's seeing the grid. Now this has a few minute delay before it starts uh, exporting. So let's let this run for a minute and uh, we'll see if uh, this starts to export. Just so we have a reference before it starts exporting. At the moment, on the black wire here, we're pulling 5.2 amps. And on the red wire, we're pulling 5.3 amps. So let's see how that changes once this comes online. I've got a little pigtail right here, some Wago connectors, and this will allow us to check the amps on this. So as you can see, uh, we don't have anything yet. All right guys, this is huge. Check this out. So the um, light continues to blink orange. I don't know if you can see that, there we go. Uh, just because it's not connected to the gateway. However, these are designed to still output power even without the uh, gateway. So let's connect our amp clamp here. Check it out. 1.1 amps of power on the white leg. Yep, push the wrong button. And 1.17 amps on the black wire. So if we come over here to the air conditioner and uh, clamp the black wire. What was over five amps is now, turn so you can see it, 4.2 on that wire and on the red wire, 4.2. So yeah, we've lowered it by an amp on both legs, which obviously maths correctly with what we measured here. So let's just do a little bit of math for fun. 1.2 times 240. So we're pushing in 288 watts. So you could easily add a few more panels, a few more inverters, enough that uh, you are really close to the amount of amps your AC draws. Don't wanna go over that uh, if you don't have any kind of net metering agreement or anything, uh, cause then you could actually end up paying for that excess power you've generated. Potentially your the other things in your house would use it. Where the air conditioner contactor is the thing that's controlling this, then you've got uh, the ability to stack enough panels with enough inverters that you can completely mitigate the AC power draw of your air conditioner and let the sun power it. And you don't need to get any different air conditioners or anything like that. You just need some solar panels, some microinverters, obviously a little different setup than uh, just an exposed uh, wire uh, running across the ground to uh, take the effort and to uh, hook everything up uh, properly and in a more permanent fashion. This is just testing. <laughs> this is so cool. So tell me uh, your thoughts on uh, turning your generic air conditioner into a solar powered air conditioner with this. In my case, uh, it's very viable because I already had some solar panels that they're just kicking around and you can get rigid solar panels, especially for so cheap now. It's insane. So the biggest expense 
is these microinverters. But hey, you know, get one and uh, get, you know, couple hundred watts worth of uh, solar going into your air conditioner and then it add another one the next year and so on and eventually uh, offset it. HVAC is like the number one energy consumer of our homes and so if we can just offset that suddenly our homes become much less energy hungry and in turn uh, you save uh, a ton of money. Just think how awesome it'd be on those bright hot sunny days to feel completely free to knock that thermostat way down and run your air conditioner to your heart's content because you're completely offsetting your consumption with the sun outside. <laughs> I think this is just really, really cool. Other comments I want to hear. What other ways do you think we could utilize a simple setup like this? A small inverter with some solar to uh, help offset electricity costs for large appliances. One other one that I'm thinking of is like a 240 volt pool pump. I don't have a pool, but I do have an irrigation pump uh, right over there, so maybe we could try that. But that could be another viable thing. If you've got a pool pump that's uh, 240 volts uh, running a lot, you could do a similar thing and uh, just connect this uh, behind the timer or the contactor or whatever system you have to uh, run it. I think that would be very viable. I want to hear your other ideas though, so leave them down below. Please don't forget to give us the like and subscribe. Completely free to you. Really helps out with the uh, YouTube algorithm and uh, gives me the added uh, encouragement and incentive to continue making these videos uh, for you on YouTube where it's free. You don't have to pay subscriptions or anything to see this kind of stuff. It's just free education. So help a guy out, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.